Welcome back to another Joystick Gremlin tutorial. Today we're going to talk about merging axes. The most notable use case for this is merging two axes that don't have a center into one virtual axis that does have a center. Essentially you can take two toe brakes and turn them into a Y axis on a joystick. Another example is perhaps you want to control the same axes in the game with two different physical axes on different joysticks or even the same joystick. Now you could bind the physical joysticks to the same virtual axes and joystick gremlin, but what will happen is they'll end up fighting each other constantly and you won't get the desired result. Instead, you could merge these two physical axes into the one virtual axis and they'll both play nice together. We'll walk through an example of this where I bind the Y axis on my left joystick with the Y rotation axis with the analog mini stick, allowing me to control strafe up and down using either or and they play well together. The third use case, which we won't necessarily cover here, but you should be aware of it, is you can also have a minimum or maximum type of merge. So essentially you could have two physical axes bound to the same virtual axes and it will always take the value of the axes that is either higher or lower, depending on how you have it set in the merge. In our first example, we're gonna take the two toe brakes on my verbal pedals and merge them into one virtual axis that has a center. We'll merge them into the VJoy Z axis, just for an example. Make sure your toe brakes are not bound to any existing virtual axes. Take note that at the default rest position, each toe brake has a different value. This will be specific to your setup, your pedals, and the vendor, and either it'll look like this, or both pedals will be at zero, or both pedals will be at 100%. Any of the three are fine, it's just gonna change what we select when we merge the axes. And generally you can change how these show up by changing the inversion property in your joystick software if that exists. Head to the action menu and select merge axes from the dropdown. Click new axes. I'm going to select the verbal pedals for the lower and upper half of the axis and select the slider and dial that represent my toe brakes. We're going to merge these two axes into the VJoy device 1 Z axis. Because my toe brakes have opposite maximum values at the resting position, I will select some from the drop down menu. If your toe brakes are both at 0 or 100%, select average. Close the merge axis panel. Save and activate the profile. Now we can see when I move both my toe brakes, the Z axis on the virtual device with the center moves back and forth. At the resting position, the Z axis is at the center position. Now's a good time to bring up joystick curves when it comes to merged axes. Normally, if we're just binding one physical axis to one virtual axis, we add a response curve under that binding itself. In the case of merged axes, we're not binding directly to one virtual axis, we're merging two physical axes into one virtual. In this case, we need to actually set the curve on the VJoy1 axis that we merge to. There's a description at the bottom of the VJoy1 device that explains this. You'll notice that remap curve is the only available option in the dropdown for this. And it's specifically for this situation. Add a curve like you would normally. And that's it. Now you could bind the Z axis in the game to the forward back and your toe brakes will now effectively control that one axis. You can use the invert option on the curve of the virtual axis we bound and change which pedal brake goes in the forward or back direction. Now we'll merge the Y axis on my left joystick with the Y rotation axis. This is essentially the forward and back on my left joystick, along with the up down on the mini stick, which is an analog hat. 
we'll bind this to Y rotation on VJoy1. And again, it's important to note whether your shared axes that you're going to merge, if they're inverted with each other or not. In my case, when I push forward and when I push up, both of them go in the same direction. So I'll want to use summing when we merge the axis. Otherwise, we would choose average. Ensure nothing is mapped to the Y or Y rotation axes before you begin. Select the Actions menu. Select Merge Axes. Click New Axes. We want to make sure my left joystick is selected for both the lower and upper half. I'll select the Y axes and the Y rotation axes. We're going to merge these to the VJoy Device 1 on the Y rotation. In my case, I'm going to select Sum from the Operation menu. If the axes are inverted to each other, you need to select Average. Close the Merge Axes panel. Save and activate the profile. And that's it. Now both axes are merged together, forward and back on the main axes, and up and down on the mini stick. Both control the Y rotation axes on the virtual device. More so, they won't fight each other. Movements from both physical axes will either sum or subtract to the virtual axes. We can add any desired curve to the VJoy1 Y rotation axes and invert as necessary. When binding in game, both physical axes bind to the same Y axis rotation as they are now the same virtual axis. Thanks for watching.